Hi designers, today I will be showing you how to add rounded corners to a video using Jitter. Now there are two use cases in which you might want to do this. The first one being you have a native Jitter animation and you want to use a video in that animation. And in order for this video to fit with your animation, you need rounded corners. And the second use case is you want to use this video in extra software with rounded corners or you just want to have rounded corners to this video to share it on social media or with friends. So you want to add rounded corners to just the video. Let's start with the first example. Right here we have an animation of a social media live batch from our Jitter gallery. And imagine we want to have a video in the center instead of a picture. Then we can do replace media select the video and as you see right now it's just a square and it doesn't fit with the animation at all so what you want to do is add rounded corners so you go to the design tab and you see the property corner radius now if you want some sort of rounded corners you can play around with this value but in this specific use case i need a circle and whenever i need a circle i just type a ridiculously big value and that will make it a circle in every situation now let's look at this animation and as you see right now we have successfully created a video that fits perfectly with the animation. The second use case is you just have the video making it fit with the artboard and you want to have rounded corners on this video. So the process is exactly the same. You go to corner radius, add a value, let's pick a different value for now and you edit rounded corners. Now before you export make sure to select the artboard and deselect the background feature because right now, if you export this, there will not be ugly white space around the corners. So if you use it in additional software, it will be completely see-through. And even if you just share it on social media, it will have no white space around it. And if you hit export by default, it will be exported in WebM transparent. So it will be with a transparent background. Now, if you want to try this yourself, you can go to jitter.video. And if you want to use this live batch animation, it is in our gallery, which is at jitter.video gallery.